What is going on, my people? You know who it is. The one, the only, never duplicated. I have no product in my hair, no hat, no nothing. I'm just coming out natural, but not natural all the way because nobody wants to see that because I don't want to get banned from YouTube. But here we go. To my new subscribers, welcome to that S to the O fam. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If I have any new subscribers, if you're new to the channel and you happen to stumble onto it, please hit that subscribe button where we will talk anything content related, uh, fragrance related, and try to probably try to spice things up and learn what's hot or not. And if you don't, that's okay. Cool, you're here in a country of freedom where you're made to free choice. Whatever you want to do, hit that thumbs up. We'll gladly appreciate it, and it will also show YouTube that you like this type of content. If not, just hit that thumbs up. It doesn't really matter. You guys are free to do, like I said. But today, I have the five fragrances, uh, the way I did five, five fragrances that are great for the date, date settings in the summer because it is really hard to come up with day scents, but then again, you could also wear what you want. So with this, these are the ones that I have in my collection and I think that are date worthy. Without further ado, let's get on with it. I have two honorable mentions, so it will kind of be seven. At number, at another honorable, uh, no, first honorable mention would be I Love Gutierrez by John Paul Gutierrez. This one right here smells the same, similar, but with a fresher take to the original uh, Lamal. And this one's really nice and sweet, minty, uh, fresh, powdery fragrance that I get from it. Really nice, really perfect for ultimate settings, I think, in my opinion. I Love Gutierrez. And one of my honorable mentions by John Paul Gutierrez at for a great day scent. Uh, another one I think is great for uh, for a day scent that it's uh, an honorable mention um, would be Sean uh, Sean Crenshaw's Ovation for Men. This one's a really nice. It's a nice aquatic. It has that. Um, why so lan wheat vibe in it so you know it if it has something to do with lan wheat i think that's the best day sense ever for any a cave date sense for that one this one has a similar vibe to it when an aquatic takes spicy citrusy creamy really really nice fragrance if you guys haven't checked it out go for it you can find this out of perfumology or you could just hit them up on their instagram i'll leave all of their information down in the bottom and check them out for yourself so far Great longevity, great projection, really nice, a silent killer, as you could say this one would be. Ovation for Men by Sean Crenshaw, and an honorable mention. Now here we go with my top fives. Now with my top fives, there's really nothing gonna be, these are, like I said, these are, some of them are gonna be out of this world, and some of them are not, or some of them are just gonna be there, but yeah, let me stop. Five, we have Bibamore Perfumes, and this one is Nabit by Nabitus Perfumes. This one supposedly says, Alluring, confident, and irresistible. Now, if you guys like Aventus and Baccarat Rouge 540, this is the one for you. This is a nice combination. I really do like this one. It's not a clone. It's kind of something similar. They were going for a different take. But the combination of having two of the best bowls world, in my opinion, I was going to put Baccarat 540 in this list. But I had this one and Aventus being one of my other favorites. Fragrances, this one would be it. This one right here. It's really nice. You get that nice juicy pineapple, that bergamot, that in the dry down is where you get that Baccarat Rouge 540 take on it. This one's really nice, perfect for those date nights or when you're trying to go out and have just a casual night with your boys. This one will do it. Be one more perfumes by Nabitus Perfumes at number five. If you guys want me to do a review on this one, let me know down in the comments and I will definitely do it and give you a more depth review. At number <laughs> at number four we have a lore Chanel Allure Edition Blanche. This one right here I wore it this morning. When I went out with my brother, he said let's go do something. I went to go do something. I got dressed and I just put this one on to fill it. At the opening it has like excuse me, in the opening it has that chemical chemical synthetic vibe when you get in the opening but as it starts to fade away that chemical starts to fade you get a nice lemon meringue pie fragrance you get that creamy vanilla that nice juicy lemon right there and with those woody notes that make this make this fragrance really beautiful really nice i do like this one this one was a sleeper but when you have so many fragrances you forget 
to all these fragrances that you have and you forget to look at the hidden gems and this one in my thing was a hidden gem i slept on it at first but this one right here it's a nice fragrance if you like lemon meringue pot and you have a sweet and your date has a sweet tooth this one will do it this one is almost niche level worthy i think this was chanel hit this one out of the park different a flanker but different in his own lane allure home edition blanche at number four by chanel at number three we have coco moon by beach giza this one right here has some pineapple some coconut and some spiciness with some white floral notes this one right here is tropical big tropical in a bottle did i say it right tropical in a bottle vacation in a bottle let's just put it that forget the tropical in a bottle part this is really nice vacation mode this one got me so many compliments last year when i went to the shore it helped me pick up a girl God. what more could i say this one is really nice that spiciness that fruitiness with that coconut in there really really nice and really also a silent killer in my thing mass appealing fragrance if you guys haven't checked this out i suggest you do i think you could buy a 15 ml for 30 bucks which i don't think is bad because you spend more on that but yeah go check them out and go tell go check out beach giza and go to and go check out coco moon this is batch number five by the way so i got a bat number five batch so this was one of the first one because this one's a new bottle that they did so and number three beach giza um coco moon's beach giza now in number two this one it's hard it was hard to pick these two number one could be number two number two could be number one it's really different this one was difficult these are two of my favorite fragrances now you is where you have to bring out the big guns if you are trying to do the home run home and here we go now with this one this one is the number two we have 100 silent ways by nishane this one's is an edt and some of the notes you get mandarin tuberose peach white jasmine gardenia Oris, vanilla sandalwood and vetiver and this one is a really seductive vanilla citrusy tuberose fragrance really nice fragrance a really sleeper let me read what it says right here in this poem that they wrote i whispered and offer softly in the and offer softly in the ear of your playful heart I closed my mouth and I spoke to you in a hundred silent ways. That right there is just beautiful by this fragrance. And this one's beautiful in its own way. I like the fragrance. Shout out to Hood Sense if you're watching this video. I know this is the one you got married in. Beautiful fragrance. Very seductive. Very creamy. Really, really. This one will do the talking for you. If she's a gourmand lover and you just want to bring out the big guns and smell different. 100 silent ways and number two now and number one you must think i must have some fire it's a powerful one something a heavy hitters that's going to drop the panties off these girls but to me this is one of my favorite fragrances in my collection that i bought recently um this one was actually recommended to me by nyc fragrances thank you joe for recommending this fragrance to me try it out he said you should try it out and i did i went to lucky sense tried this one out and i fell in love with it there i wanted to buy it there but i didn't have the money at the time but good thing i waited because i found it in the gray market in the gray market out there through a, a facebook seller his name is b john benji hit him up really good great prices and all of these things and the one that i am talking to you about is my number one cassia Moratti's lira this one right here hmm, vanilla caramel citrus with some woody notes this one right here is a nice creamy fragrance you get that caramel very very seductive fragrance this one right here is a unisex fragrance and if she's into those notes of caramel of vanilla citrus and some florals this one would be the fragrance for you to rock you're number one just feel sexy with it you're gonna smell delicious she's gonna walk to you and be like what are you wearing and this one is gonna seal the deal for you if you wear this. I'm not saying it is, but I don't know. You never know, you have to try, you know. If you don't know, you don't try. You gotta be in it to win it. But yeah, this was the one that I say 
that you should try it out my number one i really fell in love with it so powerful so good a perfect 10 out of 10 this fragrance has done it casa Marati, you have either served off you have done your masterpiece with this one i think this is one of the best gourmands also in my fragrance and that is it my list is really a small list let me know what you guys would recommend for the winter i mean let me know what you guys would recommend for the summer as a day scent. What would you rock? Do you rock? Do you agree with my list? Do you have a better list? Let me know. Let's read you down in the comments. Let's start a conversation going. Now, um, if you guys want to know more and interact with me more, I am going to put my Instagram somewhere up here. Go follow me there, and I will gladly talk to you there. I have another video coming out for you guys soon. It is going to be something. I'm trying to work on it now. I'm trying to think as we speak. And my mind's always all over the place. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. Um, and as always, wear what you want, buy what you want. And I will definitely see you next time. And if I don't, it's probably because you're not subscribed. Remember, just because it's niche doesn't mean it's always good. And just because designer doesn't mean it's always bad. Peace, I'm out of here. You know what it is. Think a king of this game.